to me with the proposal. And uh, we started working on it, and, and Jenny Bailey, board member, was very instrumental in it. Philip O'Neill supported us in it, and we're very thankful that it, that it uh, came to fruition. So at this time, Rick, thank you for everything you've done for Elkins High School. We are proud to rename our field Carpenter Field. And now I'm going to turn it over to Louis Ventucci. <laughs> Just to be short and sweet, a lot of the work that originally went into this field was done by parents, the Huffmans, the Kirshners, the Truitts, all the people that some of them are here today, some are not. Really appreciate all of that. It was an honor to work with Rick. It's an honor to know him. It's an honor to call him my friend. And this is just a small thing that should be done in his honor for all the things he's done for kids and baseball and Elkins and Prosper and Lamarck and High Island and all the places he's been. And it's my honor to hand this over to him, Rick Carpenter. Here, my bad. I get the honor of the proclamation uh, as a friend too. I met him back in 1991 when we first started coaching together. One year at Dulles, and then 20,000 years here at Elkins. I feel like. Okay, 22. We have a board resolution from the state of Texas, the county of Fort Bend, a resolution of the Fort Bend Independent School District establishing Elkins High School baseball field as Rick Carpenter Field, whereas the baseball field of Elkins High School has no official name, whereas former coach Rick Carpenter during his tenure at Elkins High School won over 360 baseball games, three Texas 5A state championships, and one national championship, whereas Rick Carpenter was recognized as the 2002 USA Today National Coach of the Year, whereas Coach Rick Carpenter impacted the lives of countless students and coached numerous players to college and professional careers, including four of the highest levels of baseball, whereas members of the Elkins community overwhelmingly expressed their desire to name the Elkins High School baseball field Rick Carpenter Field. Now, therefore, be it resolved and ordered by the Board of Trustees of the Fort Bend Independent School District that the Elkins High School baseball field be officially named Rick Carpenter Field. Passed and approved by the Board of Trustees of the Fort Bend Independent School District on the 18th day of May 2015. field, my three kids, Caitlin, Tyler, and Matt, they learned how to drive, riding around in the gate or toting dirt for me, and they learned on a, a three-wheeler, dragging the fuel for me. My wife, Tammy, she would be in center field shagging balls when Matt, Tyler, and Caitlin were hitting on this field. So this field has been a big part of my life, not only with baseball, with the Elkins High School baseball program, but also with my family. I can't tell you how happy I am and, and how appreciative I am for all you guys being here today. It, it's so much fun to see all you friends and, and players and parents from the past. I'm a mover when I talk. I don't know if I can do this. I guess they're right here. <laughs> it, it's such a thrill to see you guys. It brings back a lot of memories. You know, I mentioned last night at the banquet how we had a couple of guest speakers early in the banquet's history until we seen that it was going to be a five-hour event, so we cut the guest speakers out. But the two that we had was TCU's Jim Slosnagel and Baylor's Steve Smith, and they both made a comment of how this isn't a banquet, this is a family reunion. And I can't tell you how much pride I took in that. We couldn't hardly get people back in to have a seat to eat 
because they were out in the lobby looking at silent auction and just hugging up on each other and talking about old times. And, you know, that's really what it's all about. It's not about winning games, even though we did a lot around here and, and, uh, and all the hard work that you players put into it and, and all my assistants that were right in the middle of this. Uh, but it's, it's more about the relationships that you have through the course of your career and through the course of your lifetime. And, and I'm so honored and pleased with all the ones that, that I got to be a part of around here. And, and like I've said many, many times, it takes so much more than what you actually see Tuesday night at 7 o'clock, Friday night at 7 o'clock. All the parent volunteers over the years, all the fundraising, you know, this was all chain link at one point in time. And, and the money was, was donated and raised by the Booster Club and in order to make this place become the beautiful field that it is. And, and, and in my 34-year career, I've been fortunate enough to get an award here and there, and I promise you that having the field here <laughs> named after me it is the most humbling, the most enjoyable, the most appreciative, the, the nicest thing, whatever words you want to use, but it is, is without a doubt the coolest thing that's happened to me in the course of my career. And, and I want to thank everybody involved. I want to thank Tyler for getting this ball rolling and, and Barbara. And I want to thank the school board and coach for being a part of all this. And, and this is something I'll never forget as long as I live. And I want to thank you all so much. I appreciate it. We have about a 15 minute break to get the old people loose. I uh, have a little coaches meeting, we'll fire up the baseball here with some older dudes. Have a little break. Thank you very much for being here.